Here's my mama, everybody. And she's going to be showing y'all how to make her goulash for y'all today for the people who requested it in the comments. This is for y'all. Hello, how are you today? This is this evening and we're going to have goulash. So uh, I take my uh, macaroni and I boil it. This is the little uh, elbow macaroni. My husband was supposed to pick up the big ones, but he forgot it. So this is what we're using. We're using the, the little uh, macaroni, but it works just fine. So I boil it till it's tender, not real tender, not mushy, but just done. And then I drain it. And uh, Here's the other when ingredients. I boil it, I put uh, about two tablespoons of oil in it. That's canola oil, pure yeah. canola oil. And I salt it down and that way it don't stick together. And then on my hamburger, I brown it. I cut up an onion or two and put in it. And uh, I cut up a bell pepper and put in it. And then I just mix it all together. You just get it all browned with the, with the onion and the pepper in there. Yeah. And you just dump all the ingredients together, that's your goulash. And you use, uh, you get all this in there. My husband loves the onions. His mother always made this. And I don't remember my mother making it. But when uh, we got married, that's what his mother used to fix. And uh, when we was first married, that's where we lived, was up there. That's... She, yeah, tomato juice. 100% tomato juice. You put one bottle of this in there if it's a big batch. Yeah, and this is a big batch. It's, uh, you fix for however much you're gonna, how, how much is in your family, how many is in your family. So like I was saying, Milton's mother had a two-story house. It was, oh Lord, old, old house. And uh, when we got married, that's where we lived, was uh, upstairs. And um, lived up there for about, I don't know, two or three months. And uh, then he went to Michigan to work. I told y'all about that. So I was 17 and he was 18 when we got married. We got married in the church that I went to. And uh, so we was young, but it lasted. God put us together. So, There's the tomatoes over there. Oh, the tomatoes. I was about to forget about the tomatoes. I forgot to open them earlier. Okay. Then you use these. It's a whole yeah. peeled tomatoes. Yeah. And tomato juice. You need one yeah. of those of 100% uh, tomato juice, and then you need two cans of these. And that's if you're making a big pot. Yeah. And then you need the canola oil for the noodles while you're boiling the noodles and the salt and that's that's it. And then the ground beef with the onions. You pour the juice in here. Yeah, I was about to leave off the main ingredient. Well, I guess the hamburger is or the macaroni, but this goes in it too. Okay, and then you uh, take the lid out. Oh, that's gonna be stubborn. That's gonna be stubborn. And go back around it one more time. If y'all still watching at this part, make sure to like and subscribe. I love to hear where y'all from. I love to hear that you uh, you talk about the Lord, cause. Uh, the Lord has blessed me and Milton so much. We had five children of our own and we adopted five. Let me get a knife and cut this up. And this is the way I do it. You just cut chunks of uh, the canned tomato up into it. And my son's wanting some of this that lives up above me. So he'll be, him and his kids will be getting some of this. 
And then my daughter come up. She likes this, that's what she uh, used to fix for her. And her grandmother, they used to stay up there. And she'd always fix this for them. It's good. It's, I think you call it comfort food. And I'm gonna turn this on and warm it up just a little bit. Oops, there went one. I'll lay it to the side. And for everybody wanting to know if we made the P.O. box and we did make the P.O. box and you can go back in the last videos that we made and you could see it there. I hold up a piece of paper and you could pause it there and see the uh, P.O. box in case y'all want to send something or a letter or anything. We'll hang y'all's letters. Well, I said they want to know if they could talk to Corey or mail Corey a letter or something. Like and did you see that one, Corey? Yeah, I think so. And uh, Yep, yeah, Corey's in on it too. He lives here too. So... If y'all want to send a little note, little pictures or something like Corey said, we'll hang them up. Or if y'all send like a mug or apron or anything for Mama, then we'll make sure to use it. We'll open it on a video for y'all. And then we'll use it in the video. We'll So that way y'all can see y'all's gifts being used. Yeah, somebody uh, said, can we send Mama something? Well, you know, you can if you want. I would appreciate it. But... My gift from y'all is y'all's comments. I love reading y'all's comments now that I learned how to do it. And uh, just knowing that y'all go to church and you've uh, clicked onto my God's True Word uh, message on Mondays at 6 o'clock. I really enjoy reading that. So, okay. Thanks to Corey, I remember the tomatoes. It's been a little bit rushy today. But... Let me dip some of it out, show you the comfort food. Now normally, I would have green beans with this or just a bowl of this and uh, cornbread or crackers. So there's our goulash and it is good. And I did make a big pot, didn't I? Uh, thank y'all so much and god bless y'all yes what, god bless you was you gonna try some of it for the video oh yeah let me get a spoon and i'll try now uh, this is for everybody who wants to see somebody taste test it so for the last couple videos she's been taste testing the stuff afterwards yeah so y'all can and see her try it um, out the bigger uh elbow macaroni is better but i didn't have it my husband forgot to pick it up so we improvise and that's what you do in the kitchen you improvise sometimes so. Just try to get a little bit of everything in each mm. bite. A little bit of the meat and the tomatoes. And it's good. Mm. Delicious. And thank thank y'all for watching. Yep, thank y'all for watching and commenting. And, and if you're still watching, subscribe if you would like. And that's all. God bless y'all. Bless you. Love y'all.